Hello, welcome back to PlayStation Access. My name is Dave and I'm joined once again by Holly. Hello. And we're taking another look at GT Sport. This time we're looking at Scapes, which is the sort of photography mode, I guess, within uh, GT Sport and is unbelievably in-depth. Uh, mm -hmm. It's so powerful. I, I actually, I feel a bit crazy saying that because all week we've been talking about GT Sport and how in-depth and amazingly detailed it is but this is just another example uh, so first of all when you're taking a photo in GT Sport in this mode in Scapes you pick where you would like that to be taken that was just a look at the gallery of available options they're split up into all kinds of different yeah there's you know. roughly a thousand different photography spots uh, wow. to pick from everything from you know nature cities we just had Rapongi there uh, some architecture with loads. That's mad. Uh, we're, we're now, we've moved into a specific scape. We've moved into a Mercedes-Benz specific scape. And this is the Mercedes-Benz Museum, right? It is indeed. So, with that horse. Uh, because this is this is actually in Brand Central, which we've got another video on, uh, which you should check out. So you can only use Mercedes cars in this, which is, you know, uh, fair enough. Um, and first of all, you, the first thing you do is, is you place your car. And then there are loads of different car-specific options. So... How fast is the car going? I was pleased to see you put it down to zero, a safe zero. Well, it does come up and say like you've crashed. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like even my like how much you want the wheels to be turned, if you want the car to look like the keys in the ignition, or if you want high beam on, it's just incredible. The um the locations themselves, they're um each photo has all the light energy information of the scene as, as data. So it's literally like putting the car into a photograph rather than like something that looks incredibly digital. Yeah, I mean, I think we can all agree like it doesn't, this doesn't look in any way like the car has been stuck onto a photograph. That car is, is in that world. In my, in my opinion, like that car is just in there. It's, it's absolutely crazy. Uh, we've moved on to the camera part of now you get now. this bit and i don't so. well i think you know i just i'm not going to go into depth on everything but there's there's so much here to play with this is just the camera part it's like having a camera you know you can play with the aperture you can play with the shutter speed you can play with the focus point uh, obviously you can you know uh frame the shot as you want you can pan the camera zoom it uh move around um, you can. We're now moving into the effects part, and it's basically like it's like a Photoshop. You know, it's yeah. There are there are layers uh, you might recognize from like Photoshop, or there are there are specific preset event uh, effects that you can you can go in and make your own. You can tweak them. Uh, you can layer them one on top of the other. Um, it's incredibly powerful like it's unbelievable really i mean this in a way this could be a game on, on its own in my opinion oh, it was for me it when we were there like poor dave had to do all the really hard work which was do the vr race and had to do some real racing <laughs> and i was like i'm gonna work. go play in skates like i'm gonna go i'm gonna go make something pretty to me this this was like the biggest addiction i could have spent i did actually have spent so long playing i love that glare but this is like again. This is you know. This is sort of the meta game of GT. Uh, is that you can you can upload all these pictures that you've taken to your kind of your profile, share them with the world, have people like them, comment on them. I mean, I don't see why some people who maybe have no interest in racing really, who just have an interest in photography, wouldn't pick this up. I, as far as I'm concerned, this is pretty much powerful enough to be used in like schools and things to teach photography the way that it, it's true to life with the respect to the camera and then to actually like post-production stuff is it, it, it's so good um as to be almost unbelievable I, I was honestly blown away and some of the results you're ending up with um are nuts you can even pan the camera so you can uh, play around with shutter speed and moving the camera whilst you take the picture to end up with some results that are kind of like have motion blur and stuff which we'll be having a look at at the moment oh you did put that one in because that was my favorite picture why uh why did you go with this sort of frosty ice queen with the horse everything just felt right <laughs> it was uh, it was with the horse <laughs> it was just it, it just felt like the right thing to do with the horse yeah i think you're right i love that horse i i want to know more about it like what's its story like why is it at the mercedes museum why what, what's he what, is, what tales does he have is to it, tell? Is it plastic? Is it taxidermy? It's taxidermy. It's, it's Mercedes. There's yeah, right, yeah. no way that's plastic at Mercedes. Once you've uh, got your photo, your composition and all the effects as you like it, you render the photo, obviously, and you end up with something, uh, I think we can all agree, quite spectacular. Uh, thanks in part to that horse, which um, That horse brings this, this gives this, this picture a new depth, and that is the horse. But look at that car. <laughs> look that, at that horse. That car is in the world. And I just wanted to show you, this is some of the effects that you can end up with pa with panning. Look at this. That's Shibuya. Like, 
Our, we were there. Our car is in Shibuya. You just played around a little bit with the speed of the car, the speed of the panning, and you end up with some things that just, I mean, I don't know how you could say that's that's not a real picture from, from a real world event. It's absolutely nuts. Um, thank you for watching this video on GT Sport, Scapes within GT Sport, which I think we can all agree is probably the most powerful and in-depth uh, photo mode in any game ever. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, please do like this video if you like this video. Comment to let us know what you'll be uh, taking photos of in GT Sport and stick with us for everything PlayStation.